fertile fields, clean drinking water, freshwater fish stocks to feed communities, sediment that keeps Delta cities safe from rising seas, home to an incredible diversity of living species on Earth, including fish, birds and mammals. We all need healthy freshwater ecosystems. But as countries in Asia develop infrastructure to support the needs of a growing population and economy, our rivers, lakes and wetlands are now more threatened than ever before. Agriculture is depleting water sources, industries are dumping waste directly into rivers, and dams are harming natural habitats, blocking fish and sediments. We will highlight projects and stories from people on the ground, especially those who are vulnerable and marginalized in society. How do they value their floodplains and wetlands? And what can we learn from them? Let the journey begin. Maharashtra, characterized by its diverse landscapes, from lofty hills and lush green forests to coastal regions, but behind this beautiful scenery, nearly half of the state is experiencing extreme drought. A massive expanse of arid land where farmers are desperate for rains. They are reeling under a severe water crisis. Following years of drought, the river levels have ebbed, water in dams and reservoirs has been depleted, and over-exploitation of groundwater has raised concerns over the long-term availability of water. With a large part of its rural population grappling with acute water shortages or polluted water supplies, water tankers are proving to be a lifesaver, but are certainly not a permanent solution. The government works together with institutes and NGOs to make the parched regions less reliant on tankers by adapting interventions at a local level. For example, the construction of farm ponds to harvest rainwater for the periods of low rainfall. Uh, we have one of the big problems over here is with the farm ponds. We are saving water on the one hand, farm ponds are pumping, the pumping water on the other hand. Poor wells are going deeper, other wells are drying. So, you know, it's very challenging even for the community. Despite these challenges, together they support local communities toward better management of their water resources and the protection and restoration of the freshwater ecosystems. These efforts appear to have paid off, including for women and those in vulnerable situations. With joint vision and collective efforts, freshwater management and livelihoods are moving in the right direction. The Mekong Delta. A beautiful patchwork of rice fields, canal cities and unique river life. This fertile land sustains the livelihoods of more than 17 million people. But the unintended consequences of dams and dikes, together with sea level rise caused by climate change and sinking land due to excessive groundwater extraction, are fraying the fabric of economic life in the delta. There is now a need for new approaches to manage land and water more efficiently. 
Rice shrimp cultivation could be one such innovative approach, where one shrimp crop and one rice crop are grown in the same farming area with high economic efficiency. It also ensures gender inclusivity, since women are more involved than in the other two-crop model, where rice is grown for two cropping seasons. To help people adapt to salinization, we need innovative, collaborative solutions involving governments, institutions and local communities. Sustainable and climate resilient development in the Mekong Delta requires adaptation to make natural resources work for and not against us. This can only be achieved through integrated planning. It also requires a participatory process, harnessing the knowledge of the diverse cultures and experience of the people in the region. Together, we can build their resilience. ครับเป็นที่ทราบกันอยู่แล้วครับว่าในทวีปเอเชียตะวันออกเฉียงใต้ของเราเนี่ยหรือว่าสวิตเอเชียเนี่ยเรามีแม่น้ําที่สําคั
อันทรงคุณค่าของเราผมเชื่อมั่นว่าถ้าไม่มีน้ำไม่มีชีวิตครับขอบคุณมากครับสวัสดีครับ These good practices from India, Vietnam and Thailand show the importance of keeping the balance between people and nature. It's time to protect and restore fresh water for generations to come. We need to recognize the enormous value of rivers and wetlands, the benefits they provide to people and nature, and bring these to the attention of decision makers. Let's value local wisdom. To protect the planet. <laughs>